Hello, I wanted to share with you my journaling Bibles. Um, I've been doing it for quite a while now, several years, and it would be way too much to show in one video, so I'm just going to give a quick, quick, <laughs> sorry, quick overview of, of what I do in my Bibles. Um, so maybe it would inspire you and help you get past maybe the roadblock of feeling guilty about doing art or writing in your Bibles. There are several ways that you can do this and enjoy God's Word in an artistic way without, you know, damaging your pages or making it to where you can't read it. Anyway, this is my old, very old Bible. You can see that I have it got stickers on it and have it covered in some contact paper. Uh, usually I had a lot of bookmarks that were always falling out, so taping things in, drawing straight in my Bible really kind of improved on that. <laughs> this is a large print Bible, and I tape some papers in. Well, I'm trying to do this with one hand here. And so this one's tracing paper. Again, it's taped in. So I can add things. This is the front page that is just the cover page, and I can do things there. Again, things that are taped in. This one was just printed off. Um, the very top of the beginning of the books of the Bible is usually space that you can write in or draw in. Um, you can also do these little tip ins. This one's just on tracing paper again with color pencils. I use a lot of color pencils, gel pens along the edges. Now you can see this is just a normal Bible. It's actually large print, but it's not one of the journaling Bibles that has blank pages or blank sections. So I used a lot of tip outs and tip ins, things like that, to be able to do some art in my Bible that go along with the, the passage nearest. Where I've tipped those in. Um, I've also put little tags in here of my own. Made some and put them in, taped them in there. Yeah, if I did a study, I would again just tape it in. I found that the easiest way for me. I also would, um, as you can see here, use the color pencils on the page. I can still read it. You think back to the monks that would illuminate scripture or the paintings of the masters that were used to tell the Bible stories. And I know my favorite uh, children's Bibles would have awesome pictures in it. And pictures just really... I don't know, for me, I'm very visual, and it would just make it just go deeper. Some of the lessons would go deeper here is at the end of the chapter, or the, the book of the Bible, and there was plenty of room to write some things. Um, now this Bible actually had some pictures in it, and it just added to it. Here's a hymn, and I just, I don't know really enjoy doing this. It helps me to internalize deeper the Word of God. Sometimes I'll come back to pages and read the things that were um, echoing to me at the time and you know sometimes a new lesson will pop out and I'll journal some more or just help me to see how far I've come in my in my own personal growth or things that I was dealing with, prayers that were answered etc. Anyway, this is just a normal King James large print Bible and you can see I have a lot of things I've just printed off. Here's something that was kind of commemorative of when my mother passed away. Is remembering that the grave really was just her doorway into heaven. And so some of this is just really personal. Sometimes I use just stickers and things like that. This one again is tracing paper. I find that tracing paper is light enough that it doesn't make it bulk up too much in your Bible. But honestly, 
the spine on this thing is just falling apart. This is still my church Bible. I use this one to carry to church. And because it is large print, um, I have probably a dozen Bibles in my home, so I can use other versions. And if some word get, does happen to get a splotch on it and I can't read it, I have other versions that I can read. And I just, I hope you can see that there's just a lot that you can do. That's just artistic or some mixed media sort of stuff from magazines. And anyway, so that one was that one. Then I got as a gift from my son and daughter-in-law. It's really beautiful journaling Bible. It has sections on the on the side that has lines where you can write. And I often will do a little bit of journaling. I have to prop that up a little so you can see it for the glare. And uh, I put tabs and washi tape along the edges. And um, I use those side panels to do my art in for the most part. I can do quite a bit of little sketching here. This one, it does go over the words, but you can see that using colored pencil, it really doesn't obscure them. And uh, as I'm reading through, I can use my really cheap watercolors. They just lay on the top and they don't, you know, uh, go through to the back and bleed through. I use, again, stickers. These are just little rub-on stickers and here's a little sticker. I also um, use the, the end of the books. And just really journal in the things that I'm learning. You can see I just journal, journal, journal. I like doing that and I like having the space. I'm just cut and paste, stickers. And it's here along the edges. Makes it just kind of almost a quick reference for me. I know sometimes the passage I'm looking for in the picture that I drew alongside or the words that I wrote the colors that I used, the way I highlighted it, and so then I can go back in and find it pretty quickly. For a visual person, I think this is really important to be able to do. And so anyway, I hope this inspires you. I hope that this helps you get past any hesitation that you might have of getting a journaling Bible and journaling in it. I, I find it very, I don't know, intimate to spend this time with God and dig into His Word in this way. So, anyway, I hope you're in encouraged and be blessed, my friend. Go ahead and dig into His Word any way that you feel that He is leading you. Goodbye. Have a great day.